All right, we're back. We're talking updates here. It is the Snafu Tour. Get ready. It's Drowning Pool, Saliva, Adelita's Way, and more. And they're coming your way, man. We got the man himself. It is C.J. Pierce, guitarist, producer. Look at that. He's in his studio. He is brewing something up for you, man. Get those circle pits going. We were just talking about bodies and some of the most intense pits you've seen out there. Um, and I know this tour is is starting in September, going into October. So hopefully a little cooler, you know, hopefully you're going into some spots that uh hard to call uh fall weather, but hopefully a little uh a little little, little cooler. But yeah, um good for everybody to come out, not too hot, not too cold, just right. Yeah, man. Talk talk about your uh your friends in saliva and why this makes a hell of a one-two punch. Oh, yeah, man. We've been knowing these guys for years. Um, You know, the first show, Saliva and Drunkle played together. We did the WrestleMania 18. And, um, you know, we've just been friends with them ever since. Um, Yeah, dude. I mean, I have, you know, like you said, like anybody, some bands have some changes in the evolution of the band. But, uh, you know, Bobby's been there forever. He's a great dude. And uh, we always want to play together a few times a year anyway. Uh, we play a lot of shows in Texas, Houston a lot. And uh, we just haven't done a run um, since I think 2016 we did a tour together. It's been a while. They have some new music coming out. We have Ryan McCombs back in the band, and we're working on some new tunes. Actually, right now, when I get off the phone, I'm going to continue to work on some new drama pool. Um, hopefully, we'll get something out here by the tour by the end of the year is what we're hoping to do, man. But, um, yeah, it's it's those friends, like friends and family, man. Everybody that works with them, guys that work with us, it's just, you know, all the bands that yeah. are on the tour play together. So it's, it's I, a, I love it's those a, mini I, guitars on your speakers, man. I got a few of those on, on my oh, speakers. Yeah, I, mean, I got the time over here, and then I got, um, you know, Les Paul here. Classic Les Paul. Well, yeah, no, I know that, um, like I say, the tour is going to be incredible. And uh, between bodies and click, click, boom, and all, all these hits you guys are hitting them with and then the new stuff and you got your singer back. And I know yeah. people are going to really be um, digging it. And I know I didn't know Bobby was from Jacksonville. Once he told me that, I'm like, oh, shit, you got to tell me what you know about the origin of Leonard Skinner down there, man, that that's like hallowed grounds, man. Skinner central, you know, where it all started yeah. and Molly hatchet and, you know, oh, yeah. 38 special, all that shit came. Even Limp Bizkit yeah. came out of there. I mean, Jacksonville's got history. That's, 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 I like a lot of this stuff. You know, my dad was all into that. I was into that growing up. Yeah. You can't, you can't go wrong, man, with some Skinner shit all the way back to the seventies. Still, still out there doing a turn with ZZ Top, another Texas, uh, you know, mainstay right there. And uh, that's one of the bands too. Just, just because I again, I was just in the car driving home, uh, rocking out, and and that Skinner, you know, comes on the radio still. And the, the production that they had on the records back then was amazing. Like you can tell the difference when their song comes on. That's just by the the band and the music because we all know it. But uh, the the sound, just the, they just had their own sound. Um, you know, just a whole strong, full sound back then um, that rivals any, you know, new kind of production, if you will. Yeah, it's a blast to hear it. And and I know, uh, of course, coming from a place like that, just like you coming from a historical place like Dallas, Fort Worth. I mean, like you say, uh, Pantera, Dimebag and and Vinny coming out of there. And it's it's good to so see many great stories with those guys, man. I, I was very fortunate again to be friends with those guys and, and have. Uh, yeah, uh, and, and people can you can talk shit them. and whatever, but just seeing Phil yeah. and Rex out there, you know, they they got they got Zach Wild. I mean, come on, give me a break, man. Charlie Benante, they're they're, they're, they're bringing they're bringing. Just a, we just did the show with them like three weeks ago. Did you really? Uh, four weeks ago, yeah. It was the first show that they did here in the states because they were doing festivals overseas and they came back and uh, we played Panama City. Florida a few weeks ago, us and them. And dude, I have to say, it was just, it was mind blowing. Dude, like, I know people say this and say that about it. Look, it's, it's, you know, you have Zach Wild, you know, playing tribute, homage to Dime. You have Charlie Bernanke, like you said, but, you know, just doing what, dude, it's amazing. <laughs> oh, yeah. F F Phil's a beast, man. You can't, you can't yeah, keep you that guy remember. down. And, and, and like you say, uh, a hell of a tribute, you know, to the fallen soldiers and, you know, all, all, all that. If you don't want to go, don't show up, but don't don't put down the people that are going to go and have a good time. It's a tribute to Diamond Vitty. And yes, it's, uh, you know, you know, Rex and Phil coming back together. So it's a reunion of those guys doing a tribute to, to Diamond Vitty. I mean, it's all it just, dude, just, 
<laughs> hey, if, if, they, if they didn't uh, have Dime uh, and Vinny's estate behind it all the way, they couldn't be doing it. So you already know it's official. And the show, when you go there, you're at a Pantera show, man. I have so many uh, amazing rock bands. And then there was like a young, younger generation, you know, of kids just seeing Pantera, who, you know, haven't played in over 20 years because of everything going on. And, and it's like, just to see that excitement and to feel that, that metal, that power in the crowd, it was, everybody left with a smile on their face. Dude, it was, it was awesome. So stop the shit talking and go see the show and, and give the guys some damn credit, man, because it's good. And well, everybody's, yeah. like you said, the estates are behind it, all uh, the friends and family of, you know, Diamond Vinny, we're all behind it. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you, you got to tell me, man, being being based down there in Big D, did did you did you used to visit the clubhouse? Did you go to the clubhouse? I have so many stories, it's not even funny, man. We played oh, in the clubhouse. Shit. Jonathan played there one New Year's Eve uh, with uh, uh, Diamond Vinny had a, a band called Gasoline, and they were doing covers, and we we, we played a show with them. Yeah, man. I, I, I visited there quite a lot back in the day. Yes. I'm much. telling you, we, we hear these stories, man, and... Uh, we know how how a dime and Vinny love to party. You watch those DVDs, and anywhere around those guys, you know, in their home front, you cannot be safe. There could be a firecracker under your ass wherever you go. So much fireworks, man, and uh, so much, you know, Crown Royal and fireworks. <laughs> the Black Tooth grin. Black Tooth, man. So oh, many of them. So shit. many good times. Awesome, man. I'm getting a flood of like just flashbacks. So you man. know, we always. About saying we end up either at Dime's house or Vinny's house, and it would just go to the sun. I mean, I've hung out with those dudes like three or four days in a row where we just we just kept going, like just you know, the whole weekend long, man, nonstop, nonstop. Forget what day it is. Yeah, it doesn't matter, man. Just got more fireworks. Get another case of crown. Let's go. Let's oh, something. man. Well, well, our special guest is the one and only CJ Pierce. Go see him. Drowning pool with saliva. Out of lead this way on that snafu tour. About to uh, kick some ass, so uh, check out the websites, man. Look, look where they're coming, and even if you got to drive an hour, two or three, get your ass down there, man. You're gonna be happy you did. And CJ, always good to catch up with you. Look forward to uh, talking to you next time and 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 keeping that spirit going. So my best to your bandmates, please kick some more ass there in the studio, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the studio. And till next time, man, keep rocking forever. Thanks, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Y'all come on out. Hey, let's do a half a shot together. Let's have a drink at the bar. See you there. <laughs>